Bye everybody, my name is Lisette Barsikian. I am a mama of two little ones based out of Montreal, Canada, and I am a senior leader with Epicure. And I love Poke Bowls. I just don't love paying for them and I don't love all the sodium and sugar hidden into the dressing and the rice that I can't quite figure out. So I wanted to show you guys how I make my own epic poke bowls at home, how I get my kids to eat them, how I make them on budget and calorie friendly. So stick with me, check it out. Let me know if you have any questions and the link to order any of the products on my website will be in the bio. I super appreciate your feedback and your shares. So welcome to poke bowl DIY. I'm so excited to show you guys how this plain little white bowl is going to turn into a beautiful, colorful, delicious, healthy poke bowl lunch for today. So first things first, we all know a good poke bowl starts with really good sushi rice. So I use the Cal Rose rice and I'm going to show you guys exactly how it comes together in under 15 minutes. You will have the most delicious, beautiful poke bowl. So first things first is I use my Epicure steamer to make the rice. Now I've done this ahead of time to show you guys. Um, and save a little bit of time, but it is 10 to 12 minutes in your microwave. I'm going to put it here so you can see it's already done. I use one cup of rice to two and a half cups of water. I put my little uh, insert on top here inside and it comes out perfect every single time. You want to see? Here we go. I need the drum roll. <laughs> and it's already sticky, which is awesome, but we are going to add the magic to it. So look at this. Perfectly cooked rice every time. So normally I start with my rice in the steamer and then I go ahead and I start preparing the rest of my poke bowl. So I save time that way. So the rice is already done and I'm going to show you how we make it taste like real sushi rice. So the magic is in the rice vinegar. So you want to be getting any brand that you like of rice vinegar. And for one cup of sushi rice, I want to be using a quarter cup of rice vinegar. And as you will see here, I'm using all of the Epicure prep bowls for my prep, as well as for my measuring, because they actually have measures on the side, which is less dishes, which also saves time, right? So a quarter cup of rice vinegar. I'm just gonna measure it right in here. And then we're gonna go ahead and add a half a teaspoon of salt and a half a tablespoon of sugar. Same thing, I'm using my Epicure 4-in-1 measuring spoon because I can use less spoons this way and it's less dishes. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure that out here and we're gonna whisk it together. I'm a big fan of poke bowls. I only started loving poke bowls later on in life. I used to be a super picky eater as a kid, as my daughter now is, so I'm learning what that was like for my mom. Finding things that she likes is not always easy, but I find doing little DIY um, mix bars like this, whether it's poke bowls or tacos or pizza, as long as she feels in control of adding the ingredients she likes or that are colorful, usually those things go hand in hand for kids, um, she will try and taste new things. So this is a good one. I'm gonna go ahead and whisk those three ingredients together and just make sure the salt and the sugar start to dissolve and pour it over to your warm rice. So there you go. I'm gonna get that in there. Oops. Good. This is the joy of cooking videos. <laughs> go ahead and mix that around. I'm gonna show you what it comes out to. So I'm just making one cup. Definitely, if you're gonna have poke bowls for the week, you wanna batch uh, cook. You're probably gonna get to more of a 12 minute mark, 13 minutes in your microwave, depending how strong your microwave is, and go ahead and double that rice recipe that I mentioned. I love my steamer. I use it every single day. If it's not for rice, it's for veggies, it's for um, ground beef. I make Asian stir fry wraps, like bacon, all kinds of things. So this is your sticky sushi rice and it's ready to go, all right? So now we're gonna go ahead and move this out of the way so I can show you the magical colorness. So there we go. Now I want, wanted to also let you guys know, because. People have been asking where I get these recipes from. So everything is on my website and I'll put the link below as well. But I am following Epicure's meal planning guide that's called Good Food Real Results. And it has all kinds of amazing recipes in there. But what it also has, which I love probably more than any recipe because I'm such a free spirit when it comes to cooking, is this beautiful, on page 24, it's called The Perfect Portions 
substitution chart. There you go. And this basically means you can have anything in the right portions. And these scoops have completely saved my life and they've changed the way I think of food and I think of cooking. So it doesn't have to be boring anymore and I can make poke bowls on a Tuesday night if I feel like it and still be on plan um, and not be going over calories. So check it out. Here are the actual scoops. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna use these scoops to make our poke bowl today. So for your grain, which is our sushi rice, you wanna be using your orange scoop, okay? So in any bowl or plate or meal, that is how much grain you should be having, okay? And it's really enlightening when you see it come together. It's not a terribly small amount, but if you're, you know, a carbs lover like I am, um, your pasta suddenly looks very different on your plate <laughs> on a weeknight, but that's okay because we learn and we start training our habits differently, right? So that is how much of your sushi rice you wanna be starting with. I like to stack them on the side. And the reason I like doing that versus putting things at the bottom of my bowl is because I get to see all the beautiful colors come together. So you'll see that next. So our grains are done, okay? Super fast, right? Now, my next tip for making an epic poke bowl is having everything pre done for yourself. So these are my meal prep bowls by Epicure. They are glass and they have these beautiful silicone lids, which means I can cook in them, I can measure, I can microwave. They are environmentally friendly, nothing stains and nothing holds a smell. I love these guys. I probably have 12 and I never feel like I have enough. So I'm going to go ahead and open these. What's also fun is that if you don't use them all, you can put them right back in the fridge and there's no back and forth and extra Dishes. So I probably try to do this on the weekend or once a week and go ahead and prep all my bowls so that they're in the fridge for the week. And then one night we'll do a little DIY bar together as a family, either poke bowls or tacos. And check it out, you guys. It's like a rainbow of color. The kids love it. I love it. And then what's nice is that during the week, um, if we're rushing, I, can, I know I can go in the fridge. I can just grab whatever protein we have or whatever leftovers we have. And then I have all my veggies here and I can make something really, really beautiful. So, just gonna move this rice over here so we can start making our beautiful rainbow poke bowl. So I wanted to show you guys, these are the tools that I use to make my life easy and quick in the kitchen. This is Epicure's three-in-one mandolin. So as you can see here, different textures, different thicknesses to things. This is what I use. It makes my cooking really fast. It's got a really nice handy, safeguard here please use it <laughs> everything is really sharp and um i've been known to just kind of freehand it and regret that decision so don't be don't be like me use your safeguard on your mandolin epicure also has this awesome spiralizer which i did not use this week but the kids love it so if you are a fan of costco you know that they have those sweet potato zucchini zoodles that cost about five dollars for you know a tiny little serving container your ceramic spiralizer will pay for itself time and time again because your kids will actually eat their veggies and it's also more fun when you're putting stuff like this together so check out the spiralizer if you have little kitties they love that and what else did i want to show you oh yeah this is one more thing i used um, traditional nori. So this is the sushi paper, just to add a little bit of texture at the end. This is the one that I found at my local Walmart. You can use any brand you like, and there is no calories in this. So it's just like a little topper. All right, here we go. So the next step is we want to look and see how much vegetable we want to be adding. Okay. So this is your veggie scoop. It's your green scoop, and you can add two scoops like this. So you want to be doing one scoop that's mostly greens or cabbage. So I have here some purple cabbage, I've got lettuce, um, carrots, those things. And then you can do one extra scoop that's like mango, apple, cherry tomatoes, more colorful things, carrots, that kind of thing. I also have avocado and green apple, which I'm going to cut here um, right on the spot because those are the things that tend to brown easily. Of course, my apple is jammed in there and I'm using the Epicure ceramic knife which I absolutely adore it cuts everything just perfectly and it does not um, it doesn't give me a hard time so no matter how soft you know my apple is um, my <laughs> tomatoes are or my mango I always get that perfect slice can you guys hear that look at how beautiful this is and these are the things that just 
you know, they make your poke bowl just pop at the very end and make you really excited to have your lunch or look forward to uh, what you're making for dinner and not want to order pizza, which to me is always a win, right? So there we go. We're going to chop up, just slice some apple. So we've got that here for our topping. There we go. And what I think I love too about this whole process is that there's no rule. There's no right or wrong. I'm going to add some lime juice here. If you like, you know, green apple and mango together or avocado and cherry tomatoes, there's no one to say that that is right or wrong. Let's see how our avocado looks. I picked, uh, I left the perfect one for today <laughs> to see. It's always that moment of truth when you open up your avocado and see if it is perfectly ripe. Dun, 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 dun. Perfect. It's like the avocado lottery. I'm so excited. <laughs> so I'm going to leave half aside and I'm just going to slice up half. You want to use avocado as an amazing fat and a really good one for you, very nutritious, but you want to use probably about a quarter as your good fat in this little poke bowl. So just kind of as your topping, I'm going to slice it the same as my green apple so I can kind of fan it out at the end at the top and make it look super pretty today. There we go, back into my prep bowl and then I'm ready to assemble. So again, super fast, especially if you've done the prep work ahead of time. Go. Put that aside and then I'm going to show you the magic of it all coming together. I also have sushi grade salmon in the fridge that I leave all the way to the very end. I actually freeze some portions as soon as I bring it home. So I freeze them. I'll show you guys. Freeze them in individual portions like this in my nice little frozen Ziploc baggies that my daughter loves so much. And then um, I take them out the night before into the fridge so that in the morning they are ready to go um, and I know that they're exactly the correct portion, okay? So if you're portioning your protein, this is your scoop. It is your teal scoop. And you can mix and match. If you're vegetarian, you can do tofu, you can do edamame beans. Um, if you're you know, using protein like this. If you're using cooked protein, some people, uh, you know, want tuna, cooked tuna, or if you have leftover, general tau, what have you, this is your scoop. And it's a really nice portion. So you guys will see when this comes together. Now, some people like to mix their dressing right into their, to their protein. I like to drizzle it at the top again, just because I find it's prettier and it all kind of goes to the same place anyway. So you'll see this at the end. So let's get to assembling. So First, we're going to start with kind of the, what I like to call the, the roughage. <laughs> so I'm going to do half a scoop of my green and then half a scoop of my purple, just right in here. There we go. And already it starts to look really appetizing and pretty. My biggest, my biggest problem with these poke bowls on this plan is that they're too big <laughs> to fit into my bowls, which is a good problem to have, right? You're never hungry. So let's take a look at that already. So that's just with our green and our cabbage with our sushi rice. And then our next scoop, we can totally choose from apple, mango, tomato, what have you. So I'm going to do um, a little bit of each one just to have it be really colorful. So a little bit of carrot right next to my rice against the white, a little bit of mango next. So these are probably about a quarter scoop each. That's how I'm, that's how I'm measuring it. That's how I'm keeping track. So one, two, we've done about a half a scoop there. Let's do some, hmm, did mango. Let's do some apple right next to it. I love green apple. I love the tart uh, sweet combination. Okay, so a quarter apple. And we'll put those right in there, kind of sticking out. And let's do some cherry tomatoes. Why not? A little bit of cherry tomatoes. These are really sweet um, and they're baby, baby tiny. So they're super cute too. Okay, so we'll put those right in there in the side. And there you have it. So this is the base now, um, your vegetable. And we're going to go ahead and put our protein in there right in the middle. Check it out, you guys. So pretty. I love me some colorful poke bowls. And then we've got our avocado for the end and our scallions still. Don't let me forget. All right, so our sushi grade salmon is going in there. You can ask the at the fish counter, they will clean it for you so that there's no 
skin on it. And here we go. Look how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. So excited. So excited to eat now. <laughs> All right. So there you go. Your salmon is right there in the middle. Look how pretty that is. And then we're going to go ahead and do our dressing. I'm going to show you guys my favorite dressing and my favorite toppers. So we're done with our vegetable soup now. And this is our last scoop, last but not least, and this is for your dressing, okay? So it's about a tablespoon. It's a little bit bigger than a tablespoon. And trust me, when you've put in all of your delicious ingredients and I'm going to show you the nutritional toppers as well, you will not need more than this, okay? So let's put this stuff aside here just so that I can show you. How are we doing on time, you guys? It's almost a little longer when I'm talking and explaining, but... Definitely my go-to for busy, busy weeknights and trying to get trying to get healthier stuff into our diet. So this is that. All right. So Epicure has an amazing line of salad dressings. And if you've ever taken a look, or maybe you haven't, at your salad dressing labels, the amount of ingredients you cannot pronounce are pretty scary. I never did this before Epicure. I didn't know to do this. I never thought to look for this, but um, it's pretty scary. So compare if you dare. Let's take a look. Uh, this is ginger sesame. All right. It, they're all delicious. All the flavors are delicious. But the best part is that if you look at the ingredients, you can pronounce them all. So in this cane case, cane sugar, onion, sesame seed, garlic, spices, red bell pepper, and herbs. That is it. It is five calories for half a teaspoon. There's zero um, fiber, one sugar, zero sodium. If you look at the sodium on any of your salad dressings, you will be horrified, I promise. Um, they also have balsamic and Greek, just all kinds of delicious flavors. I highly suggest a cruet and a funnel, okay? This, these are like my lifelines, and they also have all the measures on them. So again, you're saving on dishes. No extra bowls, no extra counting. You wanna be pulling back out your four-in-one measuring spoon, and you can go ahead. Essentially, all of the dressings are your choice of oil and vinegar, plus one or two tablespoons of your dressing right into your cruet, shake, and your dressing is done for the week. So you could use a dressing like this on your poke bowl, depending on your flavors and the, what your family's favorite flavors are. My favorite flavor is red pepper jelly. So I love red pepper jelly on just about everything. It's also really fun on poke bowls because it has that tangy, kind of teriyaki taste. So what I like to do is when I'm getting to the end of my red pepper jelly, I make it, um, I make the entire what's left of it into my dressing. So it's all right in there and it's easily labeled. So I will just go ahead and kind of do this by eye. I just add some lime juice in there. Just add a little bit of extra because, you know, lime juice can't go wrong. And I add a little bit of soy. Okay, so a splash of soy and a splash of lime juice, depending on how much red pepper jelly you have left. It's like a jelly, so it's a little bit thicker consistency. You want to thin it out because um, you want it to spread really nicely over your poke bowl, right? So just shake it in there directly into your jar, and then you're ready with your scoop. So right before we do that, I'm going to show you guys the last step. I always add an extra little lime wedge for color, and also because I love lime, and you can go ahead and put that um, all over the salad, all over your poke bowl after. I'm going to add two little pieces of avocado on there, some scallion, Let's do that over here. And like I said, there's no rules. So whatever you like, you can use and you can mix and match with your family's likes. I'm gonna use chili lime topper, a little bit of broccoli bliss, and a little bit of everything bagel. So these three are in high rotation in my house. The broccoli bliss is a nutritional yeast and my kids don't recognize it and they don't pick it out. So that makes me a very happy mama. Um, everything bagel is just like oniony, garlicky, delicious, gives you like a really nice crunch and a nice color. And chili lime just goes so, so well with this style of cooking as well. So like I said before, you will never have a lack of taste with Epicure. You will never be missing salt or salad dressing. This one is actually a sans sel lime, which in French means no salt. So people that are salt conscious, you want to be looking at that. Broccoli bliss, I put over all of my greens. And I call these my sprinkles. My kids think that they're getting they're getting a treat, and they are because Epicure's line is completely delicious and gluten-free and amazing. And so why not feed your family the best of the best when you can, right? There you go. Everything bagel. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot the nori. See, I told you guys, don't let me forget. So this stuff you can kind of crunch for extra 
uh, extra little bits and we're going to go ahead and put our dressing on in a second my goodness you guys i cannot wait to eat look how pretty food that looks like art just makes my heart so happy there you go so you want to pour that into here and drizzle it all over the top Dun -dun -dun -dun. beautifulness poke bowl in minutes and you guys know what's in it you can also add some black pepper you can add some spice or some heat if you like that i think black pepper goes really well with salmon there's something about black pepper and salmon that just marries really well and this is your final product how easy and how delicious does that look you guys i hope you're having an awesome day and i hope you go try some poke bowls uh made epic of course and give me your feedback i would love to hear it